What's up, everybody? I am back again with another video, and today we be going on a funny ass Family Guy reaction. So let me read the title real quick. Hold on a sec. Family Guy Seven Worst Things Stewie Has Done. So this is gonna be good, y'all. So y'all know what to do: like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And let's get it. We forgot the presents. <laughs> it's, it's actually, it's kind of a funny story. <laughs> what the hell did you do? That big thing around his neck. Oh, I'll show you. Damn. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! What, what did you do? I killed him, Brian. Stewie Griffin, the iconic character from Family Guy, is known for his complex personality, combining childlike innocence with an evil brain. Over the years, he has committed numerous outrageous and morally questionable acts that showcase his darker side. Today, we will be counting down seven worst things Stewie has done. Number seven, Stewie assaults a passerby with a baseball bat. Stewie tries selling lemonade in front of the house, but no one gives him anything. Hey, you there, buy this yellow drink. Hey, Prego, Prego, hey, hey, I'm talking to you, Tubby. Oh, don't you ignore me, ooh. First up with the lack of attention and money, Stewie assaults a passerby with a baseball bat. So we had to do it the hard way, hmm? After knocking the man out with a blow to the head, Stewie raids his wallet and steals six dollars. Used to add insult to literal injury, Stewie proceeds to dump a cup of lemonade over the man's unconscious body. This adorable business venture went from zero to 100 real quick. Number six. Picking off Cleveland, a lot of death was doled out during this two-parter. In the second half, Lois kills Stewie. Stewie violently bosses around his family with a gun. When I made that macaroni picture of an owl, you didn't give a damn! That was an owl? Yes, and now we're going to look at it again. Look! Look! Do you like it? Yes. What do you like about it specifically? I don't know. Pick something or I'll blow your brains out! It's just then that Cleveland waltzes through the door, telling them that he's just checking in. Whether out of surprise or anger, Stewie turns and shoots Cleveland almost immediately after he enters. Hey, Griffin's just checking in. Oh Holy God. crap! The wound quickly proves fatal, and Cleveland slumps to the floor. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? Oh, poor Cleveland! It's all right, Lois. He's in heaven now. I don't understand why I need to give you a credit card imprint. It's kind of a new policy. Thankfully, the whole thing turns out to be a computer simulation experience by Stewie. So no, he never technically killed Cleveland. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> squeeze, squeeze. What does this do? But as the simulation proves, he would have if given the opportunity, which honestly, yeah, doesn't come as that much of a shock. Number five, abandoning Mother Teresa. His family guy has never been afraid of making some dark jokes, and that includes an odd Mother Teresa. Give you a hug. <laughs> I haven't been this scared since Mother Teresa OD'd in my car. In the episode Peter's Two Dads, Stewie makes a comment about the Catholic nun and some rather poor life choices she must have made to end up the way she does in this episode. She is messed up, man! Shut up! Just shut up! Let me fucking think! Push her out! We can't leave her alone! Push the bitch out! And the whole thing takes place in the backseat of the prodigy's car. It's against the advice of his companion, a panic Stewie decides to abandon the mother Teresa in front of a hospital. Number four, creating evil Stewie. If you thought normal Stewie was bad, just wait until you hear about evil Stewie. He's accidentally created in response to a playground incident. As Stewie feels that he is growing too soft. I decided you're right. I have gone soft. I've lost my sadistic streak. So I've built a concentrated neural enhancement device designed to boost my evil side. Unfortunately, evil Stewie is far more depraved than anyone could imagine.
Complete with his inverse color coordination, the counterpart goes on a rampage throughout Kohog. This includes violently killing numerous citizens. One word to describe SGU would be opportunity. I would describe it as remarkable. There's no one word that can describe it, but... It's all too much, even for OG Stewie, who teams up with Brian in an attempt to quell his out-of-control creation. This all could have been avoided. F. Stewie just embraced his softer side. Number three, kidnapping Charlie. Stewie is ecstatic when he gets a new tricycle. No, I say, let go! Don't let go! Oh, this is exhilarating. Go, Stewie! Yay, Stewie! Here, I gotta go check on dinner. You keep taping Stewie. Don't miss a moment. I got it. Porting <gasps> Sank. But his joy is quickly replaced with anger when the tricycle is stolen by a seven-year-old kid named Charlie. It's cool. Too cool for you? No, 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 no. I, I, I think it's right where I'm at. Out of my way! Oh, I see. Oh, yes, yes, I, I, I suppose you, you do have to ride it to truly appreciate its virtues. Well, then, I'll just wait right here till you get back. <sighs> Once again, we see Stewie abducting and attempting to inflict great misery on another character. Great. So the obvious remedy is a healthy dose of outer pain! Charlie's just lucky Lois interrupted when she did. Others haven't been nearly as fortunate. Thank you! What's going on down here? Oh, uh, we're playing house. The boy is all tied up. Roman Polanski's house. One thing's for sure, playing house with Stewie does not make for a fun playdate. Number two, offing Brian's brother. Tui is both adorable and horribly wicked, and that is on full display in Hannah Banana. The episode begins with him desperately wanting tickets to a Hannah Montana Three concert. Only. Call to get your tickets now. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! But not now, because it just sold out. What? Oh no, 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 no! I'm calling anyway! Brian refuses to help Stewie in his endeavor, but of course, the latter has some fairly effective persuasion tactics up his sleeve. And, 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 and that fabulous hair, and oh my god, Brian, it's my favorite show, it's my favorite show ever! Okay. And she's coming to town, and I have to get tickets, Brian, you have to help me get tickets! No, it's a stupid show and a huge waste of time. He tracks down all eight of Brian's siblings and threatens harm to them. If Brian doesn't comply... Jerry? What's that big thing around his neck? Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! What, what did you do? I killed him, Brian. And he's the lucky one. He went quickly. There were nine dogs in that litter. Just one explosive collar later, Brian has only seven siblings, and the Miley Cyrus fan gets his way. Number one, the home invasion on Christmas. What better way for Family Guy to celebrate the holidays than having Stewie <laughs> and Brian commit a home invasion? Santa Claus, that's why you broke in through the window. I'm calling the cops. No, 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 I, I, I can explain. We, 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 we came down the chimney, but we... We forgot the presents. <laughs> it's actually, it's kind of a funny story. <laughs> what the hell did you do? A take on the role of Santa and break into their first house by shattering a window. All right, look, let's let, let's just go. Right, right, we'll go. I, I, I'm just gonna rewrap this bat for um, Johnny. Let me just clean his father's blood and hair off it. Daddy, I want a drink of water. Things only get worse from there. A baby knocks out the man's wife and duct tapes their young daughter to ensure their silence. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Stewie, get the bat! Help! Help! <laughs> Mommy! Your best of all, they were in the wrong house the whole time. We never see the family again, but considering the brutal extent of the father's injuries, it's probably safe to assume the worst. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more Family Guy content. Wow, that is crazy. Look, I'm gonna let y'all know this. Family Guy, like, I know Family Guy is kind of, it, it is racist. And I, and I, know, I know most people don't fuck with it. But I'm gonna say this to you. Sometimes I do watch it all the time, and sometimes I don't. And sometimes I like I look at other different different episodes before, but I ain't gonna tell you about it. So I got to y'all. 
Stewie, I ain't gonna lie to you, but he, he might go on soft, he might go on evil or something like that, but he crazy. But he funny as shit, though. <laughs> so, anyway, I want to thank y'all guys for watching this video. So, y'all know to do, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And I will see y'all guys in the next video. Peace.